getting circumcised or not. Get a second opinion from another medical professional if you're not happy with the first don't get. Your medical advice from a bunch of a strangers who have no medical experience and or actual no. How situation to give accurate medical advice. Always get a second opinion when the doctor's recommendation is surgery. I had a lazy eye and a doctor said I needed surgery immediately. Or else I'd go blind in that eye by 20. He didn't even immediately mention the risks. My dad had to ask before he said I'd have very drooping eyelids afterwards and there was a minor risk of the surgery failing altogether. We saw another doctor who said surgery was a terrible option and my lazy eye was fixed via prism glasses. I'm in my late 20s and I never lost my vision. I would also definitely see a second opinion because it sounds like he's recommending surgery for a problem that does not currently exist. Also phrenolymplasty exists where it isn't cut off but adjusted. Still surgery though. Always get a second opinion for surgery. Ironic you come here for tips. Ask a second doctor my dude. If it's not medically necessary and you aren't comfortable, you shouldn't do it off the word of one guy and some anonymous internet people and add some follow-up questions. Why do other patients come back for it? Does changing the other part affect the function or look of the foreskin in any way? It's good to be informed. Going to ask the question everyone is wondering, how long is a long foreskin? He's asking for medical reasons. Not for everyone to turn this into a moral debate. Up, oh, if you are unsure, Ask for a second medical opinion and do what works best for you. Get a second opinion from another urologist. Even a third opinion. Visit our circumcision to read some of their stories. Check for other boards with specific information related to adult circumcision or even the specific issues you are facing. Best of luck. I did it and everything went fine. No remorse and for me it's so much better now. Edit. I did it for the same reason. Not giving advice. But I actually had my frenulum rip. It ripped up top near the urethra then peeled down like a banana skin. Hurt like a bitch and took two weeks to heal. Didn't go to the doctor. I could only have sex with a condom on for a month or two. But now. Because it peeled. Once the skin strengthened up again, it acts just as a longer frenulum. Get educated, and by professionals who actually know about this. Also, talk to men who have had the procedure both those who have had good and bad outcomes. Being circumcised as an adult is not the simple procedure it is for a baby. It's a serious surgery and can have some unexpected results ones that will surely matter to you more now than they would have if you'd never known the difference. Any incision into the skin will alter sensations guaranteed. It's just a matter of how much. Don't rush into this. And make sure your surgeon is as much an artist as a doctor. You should always get a second opinion. That second opinion shouldn't be Reddit. No point in asking Reddit. You will not get an unbiased answer and to be frank. You have been told medical reasons that you need it. Get a second opinion from a doctor to see if they also agree it is needed. It isn't like we are taking breast implants and something for convenience. The doctor has told you what he believes will happen and it won't be pleasant. You owe it to yourself to see another doctor for confirmation. Ask another professional if you want a second opinion. Most of Reddit is heavily biased against circumcision. So if you're against it, you're just going to an echo chamber. You and your doctor are the only ones who can make that decision. Not some random chuds. Get a second opinion. Don't trust Reddit to decide medical issues. Some folks get bent out of shape about infant circumcision for a number of reasons. You are not that. 
Talk to your doctor about the risks of getting it done and not getting it done. Then get a second opinion. Then make your decision. Don't get circumcised. It has no relation to frenulum. And WTF. Foreskin too long. These American doctors will find any excuse to cut your dick. Get a second opinion. But ultimately trust your doctors. Don't trust Redditors who don't have any medical degrees. Getting circumcised because you have too much foreskin makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Bro is refuting medical advice from a urologist practitioner, but goes on Reddit for medical advice. LMAO. Go see and get a second, perhaps, third consultation from a different urologist. Great. Here we go. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.